Testing. Testing one, two, three. Yes. Finally. Finally, I'm back doing Call of Duty or gameplay commentaries. It's been years. <laughs> literally years since I was able to do gameplay commentaries. Boy, I'm back on the map. I think this map is St. Marie. Um, the gun I'm using is the M1941. Yeah, the first the first assault rifle in the game. And man, does it not only feel good to be back doing commentaries, it's good to be back playing a Call of Duty that has boots on the ground. So, um, I always play objective game types for those who, who may be new to this channel or, you know, never seen my gameplay commentaries. Because for a while, I've only been able to do wrestling get me. videos. I do a upload every Saturday. It's a show called Drama Script Saturday, where I just review, like, all the wrestling news throughout the week for both Raw and SmackDown and a little bit of indies. But now that I have a new computer... And I have a capture card. I could go back to doing Call of Duty commentaries, and there may be some play, some video game playthroughs with no commentaries coming soon. We'll see. But you know, one one thing at a time. But let me go over all my thoughts about this game. This is Sledgehammer's game. Number one, I love the fact that it's boots on the ground. I love the game design. They really, 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 really captured the overall World War II feel. And then, like, you really notice, like, war is really messed up. Like, the, the kill, well, the death animations that you could get in this game is, is bananas. I mean, on one time... Uh, a grenade hit me and then like my my leg fell off or there'll be inches there be um instances where you get naded so well and then like both of your legs fall off uh one time some dude he sniped my arm off like this game is it's, it's very graphic hands down catches the the world war ii battlefield and then like if you're using um Shotgun when it's centerate shells like you hear the people screaming as they're burning on fire and dying alive Because they're they're on fire. It's It's amazing um What is the the visions so there's five divisions there's infantry mountain airborne and armored and expeditionary right now to me since i played the objective a lot there's going to be a lot of domination a lot of hard point on this channel i've i've always been in airborne and then you know airborne level one smg suppressor no, two sprint longer for this longer distances three is climb over obstacles faster than four increase sprint speed so I'm the fastest thing on the map, so I should be getting to all the objectives the fastest. And then, as you can see, I just lost my leg. Uh, and you know, I get to all the objectives quicker. Um, exponent X. The dude with the incendiary shells, because for some reason I'm horrible at pronouncing things. They have. Is it you that have it? Shotgun and incendiary shells. Uh, can have tactical and lethal. No, you don't have it. one of these. Have it. Oh yeah, Fuck. armored. Armored has flat jacket. Oh yeah. my god, I which I think grenade. is fair because you're carrying around 20 pound guns. So yeah, infantry is the mostly for assault rifles, rifle bayonet, additional primary attachment, extra magazine. Move significantly faster while aiming down sight. So I guess that goes for strafing. I read you guys airborne already. Armored 
LMG bipod immune to shell shock or tactical equipment. Wow, did not know that till I just read this. Take less fire damage and take significantly less explosive damage. All right, so I guess that basically counters the shotgun dude. Mountain has a little, a little, little bit OP. Level one sniper sharpshooter. Always number two is always invisible to enemy recon aircraft. That's only level two mountain. Find that to be a little bit OP at the at the start point of the game. Hidden to player controlled streaks and four is dead silence. For a team deathmatch setting, Mountain is kind of OP because you don't even have to give him a sniper rifle. You can just run around with an SMG, put a silencer on that, or you can just... Oh, wait, no, you can't. Silencers are only two uh, airborne. So you can just run around with a SMG or an assault rifle, and the only time he's ever going to make noise is if he fires his gun. And then I have read off the shotgun himself. But, like, I really like this... I, I really like this concept just that mountain seems to be like kind of if you like for a team deathmatch kill confirmed mountain at level four is never going to appear on the radar that's that's just my opinion on that and i just use airborne because i'm trying to get to the deck the b flag right here is in a really i'm not going to say a bad spot but it's in a unique spot because you can see it from the front and the back and then if you have um whoever controls that restaurant on the the right as you see me drop a glide bomb um they you can really hold down b pretty well if you if you have that restaurant but you can go to the back of the b as i do right here as i throw my nade and i don't think you can shoot through that as i get shot in the back so it's 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 a, it's in a very you unique spot and I honestly hate the M 1984 see since I'm talking about guns I really really like the PPH uh, my friend infinite was talking about it last night I play on both Xbox and PlayStation 4 uh, he was talking about the other day and then I was like huh I gotta prestige it again on my Xbox and then I was using it all all of this morning and I was like okay yeah I, I, I see why I see why he he likes the the PPH, but uh, I like the PPH. Oh, on, I man. like the grease gun. Apparently, wow, I'm, I'm insane. What? I'm one of the only one of my friends that actually like the grease gun. I like the grease gun. Um, the bar is right now the best weapon in the game because it obviously it has the range of an assault rifle because it is an assault rifle, but it could beat SMGs up kill, close. Kill. Predictable recoil and The only thing about it is his magazine size at 20 bullets, but Extended mags is a thing and it makes it 30 so that solves the The mag problems plus if you play the infantry you could get What three more attachments two more attachments? Yeah, you get two. You get one more extra attachments, and then there's a there's a basic training that gives you another attachment. So the bar with four attachments, you're 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 at a divine level right there. You're by not even doing much. That alone is such a handicap that that just makes you a better player by default. Um. Majority of the time, basic trainings I use is requisitions because I'm going to be dying a lot. So in order to assist my team while I'm dying, I'm still going to get my score streaks. The only bad downside about requisitions is you only get it once during the whole the whole match. So I tend to only use all my score streaks around the end of the second round. Oh come! And majority of the time, my score streaks yeah, are plain. Bomb and and paratroopers and paratroopers is my favorite score trick at the time. Uh, it's supposed to be this this game's dogs, but you know they have guns, so that works out. That works out pretty pretty well. 
but yeah i just enjoy this game i also live stream too the live stream is going to be in the in my description box right now it's game underscore fiend underscore 127 and this is gonna this is gonna wrap up this commentary please remember to rate comment and subscribe watch out for the bar users and you'll be seeing me always on this B flag and every map and we lost this game but I do 21 15 nine captures and three defends so from an objective standpoint and I'm on the top of my team so the, the from an objective standpoint I, I, I did my job but yeah this is game fiend Finival games and I'm signing out later and peace